All right. Pedro Enrique, Felipe Andrew. Pedro Enrique Machado victorious over Dimitri Souza coming into this final against the dangerous Felipe Andrew. Machado quick to pull guard first. Felipe Andrew on top representing Alliance, training out of the Alliance San Diego gym against Pedro Machado. He's representing Atos. Just saw two Atos competitors in the medium heavy final. Got another one here at heavyweight. Felipe Andrew defeating Hiderzuki in the semi to advance to this final. Pedro Machado defeating Demetrius Souza of Alliance. Very impressive road for both competitors leading here. Felipe Andrews kind of developed being sort of cerebral in his approach, right? Like he moves forward in such a methodical way, but then when it's time to explode, it's not a lot of heavyweights who do it faster. Yeah, what's very interesting is Felipe would normally compete at super heavyweight. For 2023, he's kind of committed to competing in the heavyweight division, won a European title, took second at the Pans, won the Brasileros, now he's here in this world's final looking for a second world title. He's a 2021 world champion. He's also a pan champion, European champion, Brasileiro champion. So he's won every major title in the Gi. And he's looking for his, his second world title here in 2023. Pedro looking for his first. Relatively new black belt. I don't want to say new, but he hasn't been a black belt for as long as Felipe Andrew. Pedro's got a really good lasso. See him using it there with his left hand, but Felipe deep into this knee cut. He's gonna dig that underhook. See if he can cut his left knee across Pedro's hip line. And this is a huge moment in this match. The cross face gets more intense. The timing on that knee cut pass is pretty incredible. Felipe really deep on that cross face. Trying to put Pedro flat to the mat. Oh, and he breaks free of that grip. Felipe opts to give up that underhook, but look at the tension he's putting on Pedro Machado. Felipe has ridiculous pressure from the top position. Not only while he's passing, but we've seen him use the mount a lot this year. Get some beautiful submissions, cross chokes, arm bars from there. And you could just tell his opponents are very uncomfortable when he's in the mount or side control, any of these dominant positions from top. See now Felipe trying to feed that lapel all the way through and now he has it. That's gonna increase the pressure even more so. Pedro trying to use that left hand grip on Felipe's lower right pant pants to try and relieve some of this pressure. But like you said, Felipe's cross face is just so deep here. You can see, from our angle, you can see just how much pressure is being put on the head of Pedro Machado. It almost looks like Felipe's trying to choke him from here. I think against a lot of people, he probably could choke him from here. <laughs> this pressure's that good. Felipe looks like he really wanted to cut that knee through in one fell swoop, but perhaps gave Machado a little bit of space. That head control pressure is still on, and he switches his back into the knee cut position, continues to put pressure. Felipe with wins over Roberto Jimenez, Jackson Souza, and Hiderzuki to advance to this final. 
Pedro had wins over Igor Brito, Tiago Caesar, Italo Lima, and Demetrius Souza. And Machado is out of the head control and gets up right away. Nice really takedown attempt. Down. Oh, beautiful by Pedro Machado. Pedro gets. Excuse me, Felipe gets an advantage. For getting to that half guard position, flattening Pedro out. Amazing recovery and near reversal by Pedro Machado. Crazy after all that, still only an advantage separates them. Yeah, this, this is a tight match and we're over halfway through, now Felipe pulls guard. Oh! Nice sweep by sweep attempt by Felipe Andrew. Hasn't gotten the points yet. There he goes, comes up. Gets the two. Beautiful use of that lasso to tilt Pedro to the side. Get his two points. Building on his lead now. Felipe up 2-0 with one advantage. Heavy with that left knee through the center. Pedro has that right leg across the hip. But this is a solid position for Felipe Andrew. Oh, and look at nice. this. Pass attempt by Felipe Andrew right back into that knee cut with his left knee forward. And putting the pressure on once again. Now he's got that lapel grip around the back. Jake, is that something that you feel like helps increase the pressure in this type of pass? Absolutely. If you have a grip, traditionally head control, you have a grip on the middle of the back on the gi. Grab right in the middle, just grab a grip on the gi wherever you can. And you want to have the hinge of your elbow right against the neck to put that pressure so you can engage that bicep right on the neck. But he increases that pressure by grabbing the lapel. It also gives you a nice handhold. It's easier to keep that grip on the lapel for extended periods of time. And it frees up your ability. You can keep that lapel grip with the head control and have this deep underhook that he has. And now with three minutes left, it's plenty of time to work and slowly make this guard pass happen. Looks like a very solid position, like you said. Has the underhook with his left arm. Has that lapel grip with his right arm. His left knee is, looks like it's to the floor. Look at that, Pedro. Not happy with the pressure being put on him right now. Now it looks like Pedro has that underhook with his right arm. Felipe back to that hip grip. Hard to see. What, it looks like he's grabbing the top of the pant grip on Pedro. Now let's see if Pedro can make some space once again, get up. Now Felipe in that leg weave position. Felipe doing a great job just keeping this pressure steady and consistent. Oh, and now this is a great spot for Felipe Andrew. Now the, the left grip, Pedro Machado still on the knee of Andrew here, but if Andrew's able to use his right knee to swallow the top knee, you can see from our angle, Felipe Andrew has a great passing position. The right leg of Pedro Machado over the top of the left right there. If Felipe Andrew can bring that right knee over both. He can go to mount from this position. He can step right into mount. Does that lock with Pedro's legs, that triangle lock on Felipe's left leg, does that make it more difficult? It can make it a little bit more difficult to go to mount, but if Felipe is able to bring his right knee in right over the top of the knee into the hip of Pedro Machado, then Pe Felipe can open up his hips the other way and slide his knee out and go right to mount. 
Yeah, and it looks like Pedro's very cognizant of that, using his left arm to control that right knee of Felipe Andrew, preventing him from getting it into his hip and going to the mount like you talked about, Jake. But the more he opens up and tries to hit underneath. Look at that cross face pressure from Felipe Andrew. 30 seconds left in this heavyweight final. Felipe in control, up 2-0 with one advantage. If he can keep this position, Felipe's gonna be a two-time black belt world champion. Pedro's really fighting hard. He was able to get out of here earlier in the match. But Felipe, very insistent on this position. Looks like he's gonna get the pass. And Felipe Andrew is the heavyweight black belt world champion. Felipe Andrew collects his second gold medal at the Worlds. First one came in 2021. This one comes in 2023. Felipe Andrew has had an incredible year in the heavyweight division. European champion, Brasileiro champion, and now a world champion. Incredible stuff. Amazing performance from Felipe Andrew. And you know, Danny, it's got to mean a lot to Felipe Andrew in this moment to win the world championship in the way that he wants to, right? To be awarded the medal after, in the moment, you had lost. But to be here and to win it, and there's no questions, there's no doubters, there's no haters, there's nothing but the truth that is that Felipe Andrew came here and he fought his way to the top and he won against a great competitor, Pedro Chuck. And your 2023 male heavyweight champion is Felipe Andrew, Felipe Andrew of Alliance, 2023 heavyweight world champion. Very close final, and the very tough Pedro Machado. We got the replay here. This was the scramble that went out of bounds where Felipe almost got put on his back by Pedro. And this knee cut. Right there, Danny, that was an, a pivotal moment. Felipe Andrew dealt with the, the lasso guard of Pedro Machado right away. And as soon as he threw the lasso guard on Pedro, made a sweep out of it. And really, from that moment on, it was this head pressure. This head control pressure with the lapel was the tail of the match. So incredible to see Felipe Andrew come out here and put on that kind of show.